Island 98.5, Aloha Kako. My name is Big Core from Big Core's Backyard. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining us here in the Hawaiian Financial Music Hall today for a very, very special event with a dear friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, all 300 of you, can you please make some noise for Paula Funga? Man, sis, I love your smile. Always brightened up my day. Thank you so much for making time to come join us in here today. Oh, thank you so much for having us. I'm so excited. You're always a pleasure to look at as thank well. Thank you. Oh, hey, mahalo, <laughs> mahalo. Thank you. Um, so we're here today. So we had you last month in here, right? Of course, you're with uh, your other dear friend, Jack Johnson. Yep. Um, we're here promoting the concert that's happening at the Waikiki Shell. That's right. July 29th and 30th. All right, she get them, man. There you go, Jack. We got you, brother. We got you covered. Gonna be sold out, guarantee now. Chew. Um, so that was that was his time to shine, of course. And then now is your time to shine because we want to talk about your album, and that's why you're here today. Uh, Rain on a Sunday, right? And we're gonna be jamming yes. some songs off uh -huh. the album, and you're gonna Absolutely. be telling us a little history about each song on the album as well. Perfect. Yes, I I can't wait to share. It was. It's been a long time coming, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it took us at least five years to make this album, and it was truly a work of so many people collectively. Mike Love was the main producer. Brad Watanabe helped me produce, yeah, as Brad. well as Mikey Grande. And, uh, yeah, I'm just... It's the best music that I've ever made personally, and I'm just so glad to finally have it out in the world and last year we tried to um go out on a couple tours and they got canceled because of you know covid of course right. and so i'm excited to finally get the music out there and and be planning a tour in august um our first tour promoting the album outside of hawaii so oh, i'm excited that's beautiful. about that now since we're in here and we're talking about the album we also want to plug the fact that we're going to be presenting a uh, sunset live which is a free show with you. Yes, it's a free show at the deck at Kapiolani Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, what? <laughs> yeah, Prince. Yeah, yeah, the Prince too. Yeah, you know what? We can go to Kapiolani Hotel afterwards. Yeah, uh, Prince Waikiki. It's going to be launching a new monthly concert series every last Friday of the month. And that starts <laughs> Friday, June 24th. <laughs> Hey, you know what? The, the prince, the princess, we're we going to be at a pool deck regardless. Well, you know, mm. please forgive me. I don't have an assistant <laughs> or a manager. So I have all these things flying around, <laughs> swimming around in my brain. Yesterday, I texted Flash, like, yeah. hey, I'm on my way. No, I called him. I'm like, hey, I'm on my way. It was like 10, 16. <laughs> He's like, on your way to where? I'm like, isn't today our thing at the... In the hall, he's like, it's tomorrow. I'm like, what? No way. <laughs> you had to call the band after. Huh? Cancel, <laughs> yeah. boys. Cancel. Well, thank God it was only going to be me and Ethan because Brad yeah. had a massage. And I was like. <laughs> oh, do tell, Brad. <laughs> do tell. What he said saying? it was intense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His legs hurt after. Yeah. Hey, send me the details. Eh? I might want to go. But he was able to go on a run this morning, so it was good. <laughs> That's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, thank God I didn't have Brad because like he would have been pissed if he canceled <laughs> his massage for yesterday and then there was no gig. You know, <laughs> you still would have to pay for him. That's why. Huh? <laughs> oh man, uh, Prince Waikiki is where it's going down. <laughs> uh, June twenty fourth, the show starts at six p.m. Okay, and it's uh, all ages welcome. So reserve your guys' table today at Eventbrite.com. Again, Prince. Waikiki yeah, the pool deck. The pool deck over there. Right, right, they right. They should call their thing on something else, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know, something else. Like, something totally different than the deck. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that management flash yeah. over here. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so I'm the so new... <laughs> no worries. That's why we're here. We get them. We get them. Uh, so new album, Rain on a Sunday, out and available for your purchasing pleasure. So everybody can go get them, yeah? Stream them, all that good stuff. That's what we want yep. them to do. Yeah, let's talk about that because I know all about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll handle the Prince Waikiki uh, mentions from here on out. 
<laughs> All right, so we talked about that. You got some awesome people that worked on this album with you and some really special features on there as well. And, of course, this one is special because it's the first album you released under your good friend Jack Johnson's uh, label, The Brushfire Records, yes. right? Yes. Yep, I've been jamming with Jack, you guys know, for my whole career since 2006 was my first time that I, mm. I uh, got to perform with him. And he's taken me under his wing, taking me all over the world, and I haven't had a full-length album till right now, so, you know, it's been a long time coming, and I'm just so grateful to have his support. He's super fair, his record label, you know, like... Um, they're very fair and they it it's obvious you know when i had to take the contract to my my attorney and they said oh yeah this is definitely somebody who wants to help a friend mm -hmm. out not not a record label where they um are going to take advantage of you and try right, to right. own everything that you created for in perpetuity forever you know what i mean that happens a lot that's why yeah, like artists out there to create something and of course whoever reads those fine details when you're clicking that check box right uh, you gotta, i do nah, oh you do <laughs> yeah nah, I, gotta, I, gotta bring I will in go on. over it line by line with someone who is knowledgeable just so that i can understand everything you know it's really important when you want to get into any contractual agreement that mm -hmm. you understand every single thing that's being said in there because you don't know there could be in the fine print where you sign your life away if you do something that you normally right, wouldn't right. do or something. You know what I mean? Like those little clauses, that's how they get you, the fine print. Well, I got to bring you in next time I'm signing my contract. <laughs> you never know. Huh? Um, so you're going to perform a few songs for us, but uh, before that, I just want to touch you. You were traveling around the world with Jack, but I saw on IG that you and Brad went to Tahiti, right? Chihu, a couple Yorana. of weeks ago. Hey, tell us the experiences. That's awesome. Well, me, Brad, and Ethan, oh, Ethan you actually, went my my keyboard guy, <laughs> my <laughs> piano man. Right on, piano man. <laughs> All right. How was the experience? Was it, it first time, second time? Well, that was my fifth time going to fifth Tahiti. Time. It was really amazing and a uh, luxurious experience for me and Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what, I, Heath, what happened, man? What happened? Well, Share the details. Um, the president invited me to come perform in Tahiti, and they're like... Um, we don't have any money, but what we do have is logistics. So I said, okay, cool. I need to bring my whole band mm -hmm. and um, my manager and my merch girl. And we went. We had a good time. They paid for everything. And then they said that um, to thank me, mm -hmm. they wanted to um, treat me to a, an experience on this private island called Tetiaroa at this hotel well resort called the brando and so they they allowed me to bring a plus one and i brought my <laughs> sweet brethren <laughs> thank <Man>. you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> and we lived it up like two queens let me tell you we ordered like four meals every meal it was awesome they had vegan taro sausages it was Brad's favorite. Wow, that sounds wonderful. I still have to like figure out how to replicate it for him. What was there a significant event that was going on? Because wasn't the Hokulea also didn't they yeah, touch so that? Yes, the Hokulea over there? was there. So we got to go on this cruise ship called the Paul Gauguin. Mm -hmm. And um there was a blue climate summit, like a conference of um conscious minded people from all over the world right. coming together to figure out ways to combat pollution in the ocean and how to preserve our our ecosystems you know what i mean right right and so um there were a lot of youth groups that participated in it a lot of um youth from hawaii were there as well and so hokulea was there and i know thompson and um actually hiki and Aliyo is also together with hokulea mm -hmm. and um it's cool because Hiki Analia has a motor on it, yeah? So, like, if Hoku ever needs a tow, then Hiki will tow it. And um, they're like, you know, you know, Ho Hoku, Hokulea is our zenith star. That means the star that sits directly above Hawaii when it's at its highest peak mm -hmm. um, in the night sky, you know, at nighttime. Right. It'll, like, be right over. And Hikianalia is the star that is its sister. And when it rises, it rises like 
um, parallel to Hokulea, so they're sisters. So it only makes wow. sense for Hikiana Lia and Hokulea to be together um, on this voyage and this new voyage um, that just is just beginning right now. It's part of like I think going to be maybe about five year worldwide voyage for um, Polynesian Voyaging Society, and it's called Kiala Ikahiki. Which brings me to our first song. Love it. Take it away. <laughs> Written by Uncle George Boogie Kalama on the original voyage of the Hokule'a to Tahiti in 1976. And Nainoa Thompson actually is the one that told me this story, but the canoe was stuck in the doldrums for mm -hmm. days. And the doldrums is an area that's located somewhere a certain distance from the equator where there's no current, no wind at all. So, wow. like, you know, Hokulea relies on the wind sure. and, and currents to move it. You know, they, there's no canoe paddles for that. And so um, they just sat for days, and it was dumping. It was raining for days, and... Uh, yeah, Uncle Boogie wrote this song and all of that, and I think that it's such a beautiful thing. And he named it after that canoe, which is named after that zenith star that sits above Hawaii, the star that guides all our canoes back home. That's amazing, lovely. You guys didn't know you were going to get a history lesson to uh <laughs> And it's, this song is also on your album. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Paula Funga and Hokulea. Please 
Wow, how's that? Don't be shy again. Woo! Beautiful Hokulea. Did you perform that for the crew of the Hokulea while in Tahiti? Of course I did. Yeah, okay, I just had to ask. I had to ask. Uh, big shout out to uh, Boogie Kalama for writing that one. Yeah. Beautiful on a maiden, maiden voyage. Yeah. That's awesome. And it's on your uh, album as well, Rain on a Sunday. It is. And it actually, we just celebrated the 42nd anniversary of Hokulea's arrival in Tahiti back in 1976 on June 5th. Wow. So two days ago was the 42nd anniversary of that song as well because it was written That's amazing that it's voyage. been sailing that long, huh? Yeah. Have you ever got offered to like go join them on long voyage? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you go? I mean, not a long voyage, but right. anywhere in Hawaii. I have an open invitation on the Hokulea. That's awesome. Anytime, any day, whenever I like. That's amazing, yeah. man. I bet so you got so, so much It's a blessing and, a, and an honor to to have that, you know, privilege. Of to, course, yeah. But you know what? Hokulea is everybody's canoe. Mm -hmm. And everyone listening out there, you should feel like that is your va'a too. And that you also have an open invitation to come visit her whenever you like. <laughs> That's amazing. Of course, you, you might have to go to Tahiti right now to go visit her. But Actually, they're on their way. They're more than halfway here, mm -hmm. back home. I got to see them depart from Papaete um, when they, m as they make, they, were, they make their way back here to Hawaii. I don't know where they are, but maybe like, Guarantee they're like either like arriving today or tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's kind of fast, then they, they they can sail, right? Yeah, I think so. I think there's I a mean, track. I want to say today or tomorrow, but it might be next week. Who knows? <laughs> right, right. When they show up, they're gonna show up. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. Of course, you're gonna be performing a free concert on the 24th of June at the Prince Waikiki. He is Prince Waikiki. Gonna kick off on the deck over there at 6 p.m. All ages welcome. I guess can reserve your table now at eventbrite.com. Uh, that's gonna be good fun. Paula's uh, hanging out with her friends and playing songs off of her new album, Rain on a Sunday, which is out and available right now for your purchasing pleasure. Can we hear another one? Could I hear No Place Like Home? Yeah, absolutely. And um, this song was actually written by Mike Love. And when I was getting ready to you know, get my songs together for an album. He was like, well, I wrote this song a few weeks ago and I never sang it yet. And he's like, I think it would match you real, real well. And so he played it for me and I fell in love. And I, I've been singing ever since. I tweaked some of the lyrics, you know, to fit me yeah, more yeah, better. Yeah, and, but yeah, he wrote this beautiful song. And I think of him every time I sing it. And I want to play it for you guys now. By the way, Mike Love said he wrote this song on a camping trip to the Aea Loop Trail. Yes, he did. Yeah, absolutely.
shining all the time and the skies are blue where the vines swing and the birds sing and it's all for you where the river runs down from the mountain to the sea where love grows and good vibes flow in between on your knees just cause the fruit it grows everywhere on trees is and we picks and eats it anytime we please is where the sand it sinks in between our toes and the ocean waves break upon our soul where we slip and slide down the mountainside na kea kua e malama e kia i ai lua ole o hawaii So right there, my Mike Love. You can totally hear that. That's a Mike Love song right there. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. would have did the build up and everything would have been. He would have took like four minutes to get into the song, but watching the build up. <laughs> it, no, I'm serious. But watching his build up is the fun part about the whole thing. Uh, great song, No Place Like Home. Love it. That's also on her album, Rain on a Sunday. So make sure you guys go pick it up. Um, I know uh, a lot of artists when I talk to them, every song or the latest song they release is their favorite song. Um, you release the whole project at once. Is there one that you favor more than you know the others, or or do they have a time that you favor them? You know, I think when you write a song, um, for me, when I write a song, it's so brand new. Sometimes it becomes my favorite. There was one song on my album that, when I wrote it. I didn't think I could write a better song. I was like, no, no, there's no way I could ever write a better song than this. I love it so much. It makes me feel so good. And that song is just a little bit. But then I wrote this song, Too Hot Mama. And it's my absolute favorite song that I've ever written because it has such a profound meaning for me. You know, I... I was actually, I had a gig on the North Shore at Turtle Bay with The Green, mm -hmm. and I opened for them Acoustic Vibes, and then they were playing, and so I danced, and then everybody started dancing. It was super fun. I danced the whole night, and I was sweaty and sticky and gross at the end of the night, and I was trying to, like, Get out of there! Like get to my back to my hotel room, and people would stop me every few feet. Like, take picture, hey, take Paula, picture. gonna take a picture. I'm like, yeah, what's up, cheese? You know, <laughs> like, hey, yeah, of course, yeah, <laughs> no problem. You know, and, and then like inside, I'm like smiling on the outside, but inside, I'm like, oh God, don't touch me! I'm so hot and sticky, gross, gross. And then at the same time, I'm like, calm yourself down, Mary. Be nice to these people. You're gonna be in the shower in ten minutes. Okay, chill. All this is like going on in my head, and uh, I'm an artist, that's why I yeah, ask. So we have lots of thoughts all at once. <laughs> and, um, and as I made my way through the crowd of people, I started to think, oh my gosh, like here I am, super hot, but I know that I'm gonna be in the shower in 10 minutes. But what was I like when I was a like, baby, man? Because my grandfather had to take me outside and tie me up, tie my stroller up to an sh and swing under the avocado tree. And then he would tie a rope from the s stroller, lead it into the house around his foot, and he would rock me to sleep and just leave me <laughs> outside all night long. And I, I remember that story of when I was a baby, and I was like, oh, my God, imagine how bad it must have been 
when I was hot. <laughs> <laughs> so extreme. Imagine baby Paula just screaming like a, like a siren, you know, like, what? Never had AC back then. Uncontrolling. I couldn't control my voice. I didn't have any reasoning abilities to, to know that I'd be cool in just a little while if I just right. chill out. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. It was so extreme that they had to leave baby Paula outside <laughs> under the tree by herself all night long. <laughs> and I remember that. I was like, ooh, that must have been really bad. You know, like, because the way I felt in that moment, like, you know, as an adult with, you know, logic. So this one is like a reverse lullaby written from a child's perspective or a young Paula's yeah, perspective. Yeah, baby Paula's perspective. Baby Paula. Singing to my, my grandparents. And so when I was making my way through the crowd, the melody and the lyrics to this song came to me all at once. And then as I finished writing it, you know, I thought of, I thought of that intimate connection that you have with, with a child, you know, when you have your baby, you know, mm. like you l look at them so lovingly, you think, of, you look into their eyes and you imagine what their life might be like, you know, when they grow up, you have all this hope for them, that, mm. that brand new baby, you know, and I imagine all of that love that I must surely have received from my grandparents during that time in my life. And I thought of the things that I would have said if I could speak. Wow, that's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Too Hot Mama is the name of the song, you guys. Whisper sweet and low 
you guys right man paula you know now that you told us a story about that song and and uh i couldn't help but realize that that you was tearing up a little bit before you was you started singing them uh you just have such a deep deep rooted connection with each one of your songs and i tell people that too it's like man you guys ever see paula perform like she really opens up in every one of those songs and the fact that you wrote that song you know for your grandparents basically right yeah and that that deep rooted love that you know, they had and sharing. Thank you so much for sharing the story. That's and the that's biggest thing. And that's why I know I'm their favorite grandchild. <laughs> Guaranteed. I have 27 cousins. <laughs> and they, you know, this is the way that I know that I was a favorite. Because none of them wrote a song about our grandparents, <laughs> only me. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Question, is the avocado tree still there? No, it isn't because... After I recorded the song, it was on December 28th mm. in 19, I mean, in 2018. Right. And um, that was my 40th birthday. Mm -hmm. And Kamaka Eva was so in love with that song that on my birthday, she took me to my grandparents' grave and we played it. We wow. played the recording for them. And then um, she wanted to see where the avocado tree was. So we went, we went, go ni ele, look. In Waimanalo, back in the back road of um, Waimanalo Village, right. the road that leads up to the school, the cafeteria, okay. that road over there. So at the base of the road is where my grandparents' house used to be. And we met, we ran into one of the Castillos, who was a neighbor back then mm -hmm. when I was a kid. And he showed us where the avocado tree was. It, it ended up rotting and, and dying. Oh, no. But he, he showed us the spot where it was. So that was really cool. Wow, too bad it wasn't there. That yeah. would have been awesome, man. I was I, I was hopeful, but yeah. it's okay. It's it's good. We have the song. <laughs> oh, right on. That's beautiful. Now, this next one you're going to sing for us. You said this was your favorite yeah. until you wrote Too Hot Mama. Yeah. Right? Yes. Tell this is my this favorite one. song. Um, it's my favorite song because, uh, because... I wrote it the way that it the way that it came to me. I, I feel guilty even saying that I wrote it, even though I did, because it I feel like it came to me like a whisper on the wind, like it existed somewhere else, and I heard it in my soul and opened my mouth, and the words came out. I feel I feel like I never I don't like I never really wrote it mm -hmm. just because it, it it was like pure divine inspiration when it wrote came, about. yeah, and it came so effortlessly that. It feels like I'm cheating when I say that I wrote it, you know? <laughs> um, and I wrote it about my two little nieces. My cousin was having some issues in her marriage, and it's always the babies that get caught in the middle of you know, anything that goes on with their parents. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to encourage them, you know, to hold on just a little bit longer that things would get better. And while I was writing the song, I thought of so many other examples in life that we could persevere through these trying circumstances mm -hmm. that we might find ourselves in whether it's like my sister-in-law she paddles for team bradley and she told me that she wanted to give up like it was so hard that she wanted to give up but no, actually i ran into her coach on a plane he told me that she just somehow pulled it from deep within herself to just keep going and they won you know wow. like she's a hammer and uh, and so part of the song is about her too, and like all these different different people and mm -hmm. examples that I see in my life, you know. 
the people around me. So I guess you're going to be on favorite auntie too since you wrote this song for your nieces, eh? Oh, I already was. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of them be born and um and uh the other one we tell her she's the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> separately no. though yeah it's like yeah. me I tell all my kids they're my favorite but separately yeah and then hey no tell your brother and sister yeah yeah yeah, yeah separately yeah. <laughs> nah, we tell the one who we tell us she's the favorite in front of the one who really is oh man <laughs> you guys terrible terrible oh they know oh. they appreciate the the white lie <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um yeah I'm their favorite auntie for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song. A song called Just a Little Bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I always gotta check and make sure it's the right chords that I think it is. You know, with Brad. I'm like, is it A and D? I know I wrote it, but just is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool.
Because, man, they should make all the school kids in elementary sing that every morning before they start school. Like, morning motivation, huh? I know. I would love that. Any schools, if you want to do that, let me know. Yeah, just <laughs> add that one to the morning rotation. Choo-hoo. Awesome, man. Paula Fung, you guys, round of applause. Come on. She out there singing her heart off. Rain on a Sunday, name of the album out and available right now for your purchasing pleasure. Again, uh, mahalo to everybody for joining us here in the Hawaiian Financial Music Hall. Big shout out to uh, Jamba Hawaii as well for hooking us up today. Paula, thank you so much for sharing these stories. That's like, that's the best thing about today is getting to hear this. Because, you know, usually we buy songs or we buy albums and we don't Mm -hmm. know nothing about them. We we don't know the deep-rooted truth behind each song. So this is so awesome. I know. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Flash, for um, organizing everything and, you know, helping me. Um, I really appreciate your guys' support. If you guys want to know anything about my music, you can follow me on Instagram at pfunklove. If you... Check out YouTube. You can listen to all my music for free there. Um, YouTube, Paula Fuga, my YouTube um, page. Mm. And then if you want to check out tour dates, I haven't updated it yet. We are going to announce some show dates next week on um, coming up that are coming up, our tour. And then some shows that I have here on Oahu, too. You can check my website out, Paula Fuga Hawaii. Dot com. Nice. We get the official website in there. Paula, yeah. I love you, sis. Thank you so I much. Love you too. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. Um, we have time for one more song if we you want. We do. If you can jam, we'll go throw one back a little bit. Yeah. Chee hoo. All right. How about I play one from my very first uh, album? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. My title track of my debut album, Lily Koi. Oh, love it. Yeah. And I wrote this song about loving yourself and being being the example that you want your children to follow because that's how they learn, you know. They learn by example. And so um, it's it's easier to teach kids that way instead of, you know, you tell them do one thing while you do another thing. Um, and that's what this was about because I wanted to be the example that I want my children to follow. And so I try to, I try to do that. I try to be how I want my nieces and nephews Mm -hmm. to be. And uh, you know one of my nephews, actually, Sidney Spencer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nephew. He's jamming too, the guy. Yeah. 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 Thanks for playing his music. Yeah, of course. I used <laughs> to jam with him. He used to come up on a table downstairs when we was at the Wamanalo apartments yeah, all the yeah. time, man. Like, hey, Uncle, what you think about this song? What I know. What you think about this song? I was like, hey, keep at it, boys. One of these days, you so know? So cool, yeah? Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> to see kids and and watch them grow and, and just be a part of that journey. I love that. So thank you for that, too. I never taught, I never did anything for that kid except for give him his first <laughs> ukulele. <laughs> And I, I told him, I said, I did that on purpose. So one day when you get to wherever you got to go, you know that you got there on your own. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, that's Not awesome. Because auntie wouldn't help you or anything. But anyway, song called Lily Koi. Yes. <laughs> Smoke rising from the fire 
Thank you so much, Ethan B Dubs. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. We appreciate you. Uh, love big time. Rain on a Sunday album out and available right now for your purchasing pleasure. And we're gonna see you uh, June twenty fourth at the Prince Waikiki. Yes, at the Prince Waikiki. Oh yeah. June twenty fourth, six p.m. All 6 ages welcome. Six p.m. is doors, right? Flash, you told me. Yeah, Flash. You, she's on. Okay, oh, doors okay. at. Five short shows at six. We learned something new. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, and you know, just be ready to go with the flow, guys. Thanks. Thank it's you so much. <laughs> We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Paula, thank you guys Cheers. so much for stopping by. We definitely had a great time today. Round thank of applause. Thank you so much. Mahalo. Mahalo. Aloha. 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 Alo